Welcome back guys to another restoration video. This time this is a Matchbox Series number 14 ISO Griffo. I've had a look online and find out that this was made between 1971 and 1974. So the doors open on this car, nice little detail on the inside of the door card. Little uh, tow hook for whatever reason. So on the bottom it reads Matchbox Series number 14 ISO Griffo, made in England by Lesney. And on the rear axle it says super fast. So we're going to start by drilling out the post, taking off the little flange on the top. And then followed by Here I am, just drilling it out and then taking the flange off. And then I'll tap the post uh, later on in the video. So just pop off the base. And at this stage, this is where I notice that a wheel change will be quite easy on this car. And I get a little excited. The interior, although in good condition, very dirty, very grubby. And appears to have a bit of paint on the seat. Obviously it's an open window car, so stuff does get in. As you can see from the underside too, there's kind of a, a, a sandy mixture and on the windscreen just a bit grubby a bit dirty over nearly coming up to 50 years so now at this point I'm going to tap the post and then just test it with a little screw there and I've gone out and bought myself some tiny little precision screwdrivers to help me put that on I thought I would try again with Nitro Moors. I know I didn't get any luck on the previous car, but I thought I'd give it another test. And actually, this time round, did a great job. I left it in there to soak. It agitated it and flipped it over and such. But after about 20 minutes, I would say 90% of the paint had actually come off. After I gave it a little wash, I did use the little wire wheel there just to take off any remaining bit of paint that was on the main flat surfaces and this was where I noticed that the paint was quite pitted or at least you know a lot of dark areas I've got myself a small batch of dental picks which allow me to get into those tight little crevices and pull out all the paint I've got some little uh, emery boards which again are just done the main flat surfaces just to try and flatten it out as, as good as possible. I switched up the primer this time rather than using my um, airbrush I used this uh, fine 
undercoat which made life a lot easier for me and it went on really nicely I applied two coats as I felt that was enough and the coverage was really good got a little bit of paint on my hand there so I'll remember to wear gloves for next time but on close inspection <laughs> on close inspection it was very good it was just that my hands were covered in paint that was the uh, the thumbs down there but uh, actually it showed all of the uh, little nooks and crannies without filling anything in so great so just a simple little bath for the windscreen you can see the paint on my nail there I took it off later on with some paint stripper would you believe just for a second and then using the wife's toothbrush again cleaning up the interior which come out as good as new the base was covered in some kind of muck so it gave that a little bath as well not necessarily for the underside but it was more so for the inside it had like dirt or sand or grit and grime but it obviously didn't do as good as I'd hoped so took out the wire wheel So as you can see, she looks lovely and polished now. Very happy with that. But I am going to add a little bit of my chrome pen. And there is the results of said chrome pen. Just a little bit, just to shine it up. Now I know this car was blue to start. Just like this blue. But because I do have a very nice clean example of this car I wanted to do something a little bit different and I've gone with a gone with a yellow two parts paint one part thinner with several small coats and here's a small selection of the painting still getting used to using an airbrush I've painted cars in the past with aerosols and I've painted motorbikes with aerosols and I've painted walls with aerosols and I guess the principles are very similar but I'm still getting used to this little thing but I'm enjoying it so this is the f last coat and as you can see a little bit slower a little bit thicker and now on to the following day it's been 24 hours to dry I get to take it off inspect it Come out very nice. 
uh, for me at least. And then to reassemble. The glass just sits in there. No rivet in that in this car. Interior sits in there. This may cause a few uh, questions or eyebrows raised. Um, I've gone with a wheel swap for this car. The original wheels I've kept and I can swap them out within 30 seconds if need be. But again, because I do have that other car, I just wanted this to make make this car a little bit different. And I think these wheels really suit it. And I'm going to paint, just add a tiny little bit of red. But before I do, here's the donor, Porsche 911. It was a junker, one of my children's, uh, and I borrowed the wheels from it. He was, he was happy enough to see it on this car. But the rest of the car just went in the bin. And in comparison to the stock, I'm just going to add a tiny little bit of red to those rear lights. And there it is. So as a reminder for how it used to look, and the result. Colour change, chrome bumpers, wheel swap, painted rear lights. I'm happy with the result. Thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe for future videos.